Hey guys, Justine Mizinski here with Orana International Relocation at BX Realty. Today, we will be covering when you buy a house, what do you have to pay monthly? Well, grab a pen and a paper and let's get started. So, when you are planning to buy a house, you have to figure out what your monthly payment is going to be. And in order to do that, you have to have all the facts. You will be looking at different payments. You will be looking at your mortgage, which includes your principal and interest. You will be looking at your private mortgage insurance if you put less than 20% down. You will be looking at your property taxes and your property insurance. Usually, if you put less than 20% down, that whole payment will be a one lump sum payment every month. Besides that, most communities in Florida have a homeowners association. That will be an extra fee that you'll be paying outside your package of mortgage payment every month. Those fees can be paid per month, quarterly, every six months, or once a year. So those are the fees that you have to kind of calculate within your payment to see if it's within your budget. The more fees you can avoid, the more house you can qualify for. So if your budget is low, work with your realtor and get into a lower or no home and association community. Get into a lower tax community because the taxes in Florida are just everywhere. Seriously, my friend across the street from my community pays double, double taxes than I pay in my community within the same county within the same city, and we pay two completely different taxes. Hers is double the mine. On top of that, we have something called a CDD, Community Development District Fee, that you pay every year. If you want to avoid that fee, your lender and your realtor should be able to help you. Your realtor can help you figure out which communities don't have that kind of fees. That's why you need a very knowledgeable realtor who knows the area, depending on what you're looking for. But if you're never gonna use a community pool or a tennis court or any of those things, you can easily save a lot of money. In short, principal and interest, private mortgage insurance, property insurance, property taxes, all the other fees can be negotiated depending on your situation. Here in Florida, property taxes are paid in November. And so you can save money and pay those taxes on your own if you don't want it to be part of your monthly payment. So the private mortgage insurance is only if you are putting less than 20% down because the banks are taking the risk. And so they want to make sure that they are covered in case there is a default. So. Get a really good realtor, work with them, and have them find you places that will make you pay this monthly payment. If this is helpful for you, subscribe and we'll get you more videos. And also, you will get notified when we post new videos every Monday. So to make sure you don't miss anything, make sure you subscribe and comment below let me know if you have any questions or what other kind of videos you would like to see in the future my name is Justin Mizinski thank you so thank you so much for watching and see you next monday